Hello, fix -a Tony here. Today, uh, my project is uh, I'm going to replace my fuel pressure regulator. The reason I'm going to change my fuel pressure regulator with a new one is I measured using my ODB2 scanner that my long-term fuel trim is minus 11.7%. Now, I'm going to be going through a process of troubleshooting that and hopefully determine that I can fix that. So a negative long-term fuel trim value, according to my research online, and I am by no means an expert, is that the computer of my car is telling the itself that there's uh, too much gas going into the combustion chambers and that means it's running rich um, so that means uh, it has to compensate by trying to take fuel away it does this during you know regular driving the long term is sort of as it says long term so it's an average of all the short term for every combustion cycle that takes place there's an adjustment of how much fuel uh, is being injected into the cylinders based on the amount of air coming in. So one of the reasons is that maybe there's not enough air coming in, right? So I could have a clogged air filter and that's gonna be something else I'm gonna work on is changing the air filter. So I'm gonna do that and hopefully that'll bring more air in, which would mean um, maybe the fuel mixture's right. I'll also be um, checking uh, I think there's a, my valve cover gasket is leaking, so there could be leakage in, of, of air coming out of my ga gaskets. So that's another project that I'm going to work on with you. Um, but the fuel pressure regulator could be faulty. I don't know if this is the original that's on there right now or one that's already been replaced. Nevertheless, I'm going to just put a new one in. This was, a, it was like a $10 part, so it wasn't an expensive part, but... I'm going to see if that makes a difference. I suspect I have the original on here. So maybe that's the reason. And the car wasn't driven for, for, for a period of time before I got it. So maybe things got a little bit out of whack. So I will be um, starting with that. So the first thing you do, so I think I should be able to just pull this off. And uh, I don't know if this is under pressure. I probably need to depressurize my fuel system. So the way that I depressurize my fuel system is I need to pull the fuse for the fuel pump and that should depressurize because this could this could have pressure on here. I don't want gas spilling everywhere. Okay? So the way I'm going to I'm going to start the car, have the car run, and then I'm, pulling, I'm going to pull the fuse for the fuel pump, and then the car will stall. And that's when I know the pressure in the system has been taken. Running. And I'm going to now... I'll turn off pull the fuse. The fuse for the fuel pump is in the trunk. And usually you can just... Car stalls because the pressure has been taken out. I'm going to put this right here. I'm going to put the fuse that I pulled out right here so that I uh, don't lose it. Fuel system is depressurized. There is a retaining clip inside here. It's uh, one of these uh, you need to have you need to compress that so let me show you how that's done. So you need special uh, ring removing tools one that you can as you squeeze squeezes the springs together. Okay, so you have to find the holes. Uh, 
Huh? Let's take a look, see here. All right, we gotta move that there. All right, so I did get this off. I had to use a screwdriver and come in from behind to kind of pop it up. Uh, so you're gonna, you do have, you do have to play with it and futz with it, and then it slowly comes off. I'm gonna put it aside so I don't lose it, along with the tool. Now. I have to remove that. I have a couple of options. Um, one would be to use this pair of pliers that I bought online and try to grip it and pull it off. And of course, fuel is leaking out of there. I wasn't expecting that, but I should have. I should have, but I wasn't, and I didn't. So let me just wipe that in there. Wipe what I spilled. I don't want to have fuel in and around. So in retrospect, in hindsight, I'm glad I didn't have a hot engine because you can imagine having a hot engine and having premium gas spill all over the place while the thing is hot, that would not be good. So if you watch this video and you got to this point without actually doing anything, heed that comment. Another, I got another shop rag here. This is, this is a lint-free version. And I'm gonna be just soaking up more of the fluid. And I'm gonna be just wiping this area where the fuel regulator needs to sit down and get rid of any dirt or reasons that this would leak. So, this is probably the, or the original one a little different. This is a Bosch. Um, well, we'll see. Um, I saw online one way of testing whether or not your fuel pressure regulator might be no good is if gasoline is leaking out of this air valve, um, vacuum. Uh, so you can see I'm getting fuel coming out of here. That's a vacuum line only air is supposed to go in and come in and go out. Um, that's what that vacuum hose was supposed to be doing. It's supposed to be sucking a diaphragm that would open and close a valve to allow fuel in. But if you have gas coming out of the vacuum opening, that means fuel, um, that means this diaphragm is probably compromised in some fashion resulting in this thing not working very well. You can sort of see, I can tap it and gas is coming out of there. There. Okay. I think it's seated. This is what the retaining ring looks like. And it's just a process of putting it back in the same way I kind of took it out. Uh, putting a screwdriver in there. And I think it's gonna be proving to be a stubborn task.
didn't get it. There. I think that did it. All right. I should be able to slide that back on. I'm going to try to fit a spring clamp around this. Okay, new fuel pressure regulator. Now it's time to go back into the trunk and we're going to plug back in the fuel pump fuse box. Fuse, uh, fuse. All right. And now I make sure nothing that I, no tools or other parts are in the way of my car starting. I'm looking for leaks of gasoline. No fuel leaks. Well, thank you very much for watching a quick video on Fix a Tony. And uh, please like the video. I appreciate your time. Bye.